I'm Joelle and I'm the owner of Spirit Fever and today we are doing together the unboxing of two huge boxes from my factory in China and it has tons of stuff for my customers. Let's check it out. Spirit Fever! So, first of all, we have these pom poms that are six inches wide, so it's the size from half of it to the end and it has a button handle so you hold it like this hear the very beautiful sounds that it makes so those are metallic gold holographic orange and metallic black so I highly recommend the metallic because it's really shiny and it does a very nice sound and it's tend to be less damaged when you hold it in the middle the plastic one tends to really wrinkle in the middle so nice pom-poms here we have other pom-poms they are just metallic gold and metallic black same size here we have uniforms. This is a uniform short. Basically for Old Star you can either have a skirt or shorts. Shorts are really cool because they tend not to get up, not to turn, not to... Yeah, basically you're so much more comfortable in shorts. And this is the top. We have here the lettering in tackle tool. You can see it's a very strong fabric that is sewn on. And then we have rhinestones all around it and this is metallic fabric and we have mesh on the sleeve so you can see it's transparent and we have rhinestones here it's very pretty like that just keep in mind that the flyers will have their back if it's a crop top like this one in shorts will have their back open and like bare skin and if the bases have arms like this the flyers tend to get scratched by the rhinestones on their back when they catch cradles so it's fine usually what we used to do is that we train of course not with the uniforms and also when you practice right before the competition you just roll up the sleeve or something and you just use the sleeves like that pretty just for the competition part so you don't damage your flyer too much and the back is super pretty we have a star like this also transparent and also with a rhinestone on the back so it makes a very very nice back more pom-poms those are red pom-poms to represent switzerland at the world championship and also to cheer on the swiss teams in the olympics so more pom-poms so you can see this plastic one it's been already smashed because of the box they tend to keep the squish shape there to have better than metallic for example we have this one see the difference this one will get squished easier than this one and but you know when teams really need white then they don't have a lot of choice usually it's plastic we do not have white metallic we do have silver and i will show you later we have fire iridescent pom-poms i will show you that sometimes use as white too if they do a cheer and they have to say white some have got the comments from the judges that their pom-poms are silver and not white so white plastic that makes sense so this is it for the first box let's open the second one those are the fire rainbow or iridescent pom-poms that i was talking about they are absolutely gorgeous they are kind of the same of the metallic material and from far away it looks really white bright white so it's of course very shiny and so it's if you don't want white plastic then you can have those those are of course more expensive than these but so much prettier and gold ones oh my god this is a pom-pom season really like the 
first competitions are coming up and everybody needs pom poms. So, metallic gold, baton handle, six inches. Those are silver metallic briefs. It's like this metallic fabric and it's a Pee team, kids team that is using this as shorts. Of course, with all the uniforms that I'm showing you, I have checked with the teams and they agree for me to show them. And, and if they don't agree, then I will not just simply show it to you when I open it from the box. So don't be surprised. So these are the blue gleams uniforms that we have done. This design is actually based on a design that we did for the inside shielding uniform challenge. And they decided to change it for their color. So it's metallic blue and it's also a tackle twill lettering with rhinestones around. And we are braids and we have braids made out of metallic fabric. It's a roll off. So it's plain big fabric like this one that is rolled and sewn to make it look like a line. And maybe you'll see later, it used to be braids, like really braided designs, but not anymore. And so those have rhinestones on top too. Very pretty. And those are the skirts that go with it. And in this one, you'll notice it has a short inside. Like the brief is sewn inside. That helps that the skirt won't turn around. If you have the brief separated, the skirt will totally turn around you during your routine. So this helps it for not going up, like not coming here, and also not turning around. And also the coaches appreciate that because uh, it's one less piece of uniform and the girl tend not to lose it because it's sewn in. This is a metallic navy sports bra that was ordered on the website so we tend to have sports bras that are also stock from pizzas in metallic colors but the colors that are not available from pizzas we make them here at spirit fever in our factory and so metallic navy is one of those colors here we have the cheer bows from one team and it's a three layer bow and it's one of the simple design and we used to make bows like that a long time ago in the factory for the uniforms and then we switched to bigger bows made in the US but some teams that still order the whole set of uniform with the bows and then they keep ordering those so this is a bow this is the body liner from the set. You can see it's a crop body liner. So it arrives a bit just uh, under the boobs. Yay. And the sleeves are just plain, just to keep you warm under your uniform. And this is the skirt that goes with this uniform. You can see it's an A-line, very basic, with a V-notch here and here. And this is what I was talking to you about before. This is a braid. As you can see, it has a really pattern and it's really braided. And you can choose all the colors that go together and you make one big braid and then you sew it onto the fabric. But you can say it's a different fabric. I have metallic shorts, basically the briefs like the silver one that we sew. And this is the shell. Basically, it's the top, it's called a shell. And you can see it's also tackle twill. So here they have three layers of tackle twill. You can see it makes it very sturdy. So it's really heavy here on the chest. And so it doesn't, it's not very comfortable. The more layers that you put makes it really sturdy on the chest. So here you see white and maroon and also the braid like before and you see this gold here this is tackle twill so it's really a thick piece of fabric that is really flat and sturdy so it's metallic tackle twill and we could have also done the lettering with this kind of fabric which is really soft lycra metallic fabric but 
it's not exactly the same tone as this here and so this tackle twill is more of a color that matches those regular polyester for the shells like old school uniforms and if we do all star uniforms with metallic then we will tend to use the metallic fabric lycra stretch fabric for the lettering too so this is it this is the end of the box so tons of pom-poms and a couple of uniforms. I hope that you enjoyed this big unboxing and you learned a little bit more about uniform making and how you could design your own uniform for your team. And if you have any questions, feel free to write them down below. And see you soon for a new unboxing from my suppliers. Bye-bye!